Well, Chick-fil-A is a hot topic on social media after the company highlighted its commitment to diversity, equity, and inclusion, stating on its webpage that, quote, Chick-fil-A Inc.'s commitment to being better at together means embedding diversity, equity, and, and inclusion in everything we do. Some mentioned the company's vice president of DEI, Eric McReynolds. He's been in that role since 2021, and the webpage is not new. But with the debate over DEI squarely in the middle of the public's mind, many are questioning if the backlash is starting to go too far. Not Chick-fil-A! This video is brought to you by angeltree.org forward slash Tatum, angeltree.org forward slash Tatum. Ladies and gentlemen, I'll be real quick. I want you to help us get to the goal of 292 kids that we're going to send uh, to summer camp. These children, no fault of their own, parents are incarcerated, and we're going to do our due diligence to help them and provide something for them that they will never be able to receive outside of our support, love, and, and commitment to not only helping other people and blessing them, but the commitment that we promised God that we would do and beat the hands and feet. So we're gonna send as many kids as we can. I think we had 178 kids that we've already sent to camp. We got a little bit more, almost a little bit over 100 kids that we wanna send. So help us in this movement. Um, this is a campaign I do every year and we've done tremendous every single year, but I want you to be a part of this blessing. Um, the kids will learn about Jesus Christ at the camp. They'll build relationships, have so much fun. The videos that I've seen, it, it just make me wish I was a kid again and I can experience all these wonderful things that we are going to provide for these children for the camp. Link is in the description section. Like and subscribe to the channel. Hit the bell to so get notification. Anytime I go live, I make a video. Y'all already know what to do. Let's get into this. Ladies and gentlemen, a cheeky feeler. I, I, I'm, I'm very upset that Chick-fil-A has gone down this path. And it's not its not a question of if they have or where's the evidence. I'm going to show you the evidence here in a second. But it's the fact of why. Now, I'm going to explain to you the evidence that they've gone down the path of woke. And then I'm going to explain to you why they've gone down the path of woke. And then we're going to have a conversation of why we should be boycotting these organizations. You know, and, and when I say boycott, we're not counseling Chick-fil-A. We're not counseling these organizations. We're, we're doing what we call divesting. We don't need to invest our money into organizations that cannot take a stand because you give these people the diversity, inclusion, delusion. They take, give them an inch. They take a whole mile. And before you know it, they, they got pride parade Chick-fil-A sandwiches. And, and we need to hold the standard. They'll back out if we hold the standard. Let me go to the, uh, the website and I pray for the soul of people who pimp their website out with nothing but advertisement. Can't even read the article because it's full of advertisement. So let me let me scroll down and, and, and kind of give you guys a, a glimpse of the uh, diversity inclusion statement. And I'm going to try to keep it within the, the framework so you can actually read along with me. So what they've done is they've initiated a, a, a statement on their website of diversity, equity and inclusion. It tells you right there they've gone woke. And so one of their statements is core values is that we are better together. Let me just read a, a quick glimpse of it. and You can see it right here highlighted here. Uh, it says, when we combine our unique backgrounds and our experiences with a culture of belonging, we can discover new ways to strengthen the quality of our care we deliver to customers, to communities that we serve, and to the world. We understand that uh, getting better at together means we learn better, care better, grow better, and serve better. Chick-fil-A Inc. Uh, commits to being better at together, meaning embedding diversity equity and inclusion in everything we do. That is the nail in the coffin. Now, this is not a new phenomenon because the CEO, now the chairman of Chick-fil-A was caught not too long ago. And people think, I'm gonna play the video, but people think that this is new. He did this a long time ago uh, with the fake Christian Lecrae. I call him a fake gummy bear Christian because these people, they have sold them their soul to secular um, realm of society I, I, I would argue like shying away from or being ashamed of the gospel of Jesus Christ, in my opinion. You don't need to sell your soul to the, to the, to the world in order to gain people into, into the body of Christ. And, and that's why I can't stand Christians that do that. So I call him a fake Christian. God may see him differently, but that's the way I see him. But I'm going to show you the CEO, now chairman, literally uh, kissing the feet of Lecrae. Let's roll the clip. Words to action here. And if we need to find somebody that needs to have their shoes shine, we need to just go right on over and shine their shoes. And uh, whether they got tennis shoes on or not, maybe they got sandals on, it really doesn't matter. 
but there, there's a time in which we need to have, you know, some some personal action here. Maybe we need to give him a hug too, <laughs> brother. Oh, the is- poor little Negro. Let's hug him in shining shoes. He's a little poor little Negro. I, I can't believe all oh, the country's been so bad to you. And some and some stock in Chick Fil A. <laughs> <laughs> But, uh, I- See, you called him out on the point. You're doing all that virtue signal, but you ain't trying to make him make no money. Because it ain't like they're giving Lecrae stock in, in Chick-fil-A. But you'll come rub his feet and rub the back of his head and tell him, poor Negro, poor Negro, poor Negro. It, it bothers me that people do stuff like this. But anyway, the, the Chick-fil-A CEO, he got backlash for that when he did it. Uh, but now they're going crazy on diversity and inclusion. Now, I'm going to play this other clip because I think this is the most important clip of the entire video is the why. Why are people going woke? Why are these corporations and companies willing to go completely broke in order to push diversity, inclusion, and equity? Listen, man, you don't need to make that statement in order to perform that. I think Chick-fil-A has always been fair. Why do they need to make a statement about being... It's because what I'm about to show you right now. And shout out to the young lady, um, Brianna. That's her, that's her handle right here, right? Is it Brianna X Robinson? So Brianna X. Robinson, y'all go follow her. She's a tremendous. Not only is obviously she's a beautiful young lady, she's very smart, conservative. And for you young dudes out here single, you need to go find good, wonderful, conservative women. Now, I don't know. She may be married to somebody. But you find good, conservative women. There's a lot of them out there. Quit, quit trying to go after these OnlyFans. Go after a good, conservative woman. Now, let me play this clip uh, before I get y'all all uh, worked up. Roll the clip. Only about 1.5% of the entire world's population identifies as transgender. And yet every Target across the U.S. is now selling tuck your junk swimsuits. Obviously, they're not going to sell. There's just not enough of a market for it. Why are they doing this? Listen up. Why are so many companies going woke? There had to be some reason. And after some digging, I found it. The CEI, Corporate Equality Index, a.k.a. the Woke Credit Score. It's a made up score based on how much a company is pushing woke issues. And who made up and gives this score? An organization called the HRC, a massive political lobbying group. Apparently, HRC sends representatives to corporations every year telling them the kind of stuff they have to make visible at the company. Give them. I don't think you guys can see this. It's, it's, it's workshop uh, protecting, you get certain points. Uh, in, inclusive benefits, you get points. Supporting an inclusive culture, you get points. Corporate social responsibilities, you get points. You guys can't see it. I'm reading off of the script. I mean, this thing right here. Um, it says responsible uh, citizenship. You get points. And, and they articulate what these things are. I'll just go here and read the one that stood out the most. Corporate social responsibility. It says marketing or advertising to LGBTQ customers. That's one. Here's another one. Inclusive benefits. I'm reading it right off this thing. Inclusive benefits. You get 50 points. That means criteria here includes providing health care for sex, sex couples. I guess it means same sex couples. These are some of the things that they're pushing. Here's another one. Support and inclusive culture. That means gender neutral dress code and trans inclusive bathrooms and facility policies. You get points in this social credit score for doing these things. Roll a clip. List of demands, and if they don't follow through, there's a threat that they won't keep their CEI credit score. And why do companies even care about this made up woke credit rating? If they get a bad score, then the woke investor funds start putting pressure on the boards. Woke activists are mobilized out in the streets. Advertising campaigns are shut down. Anyone that continues to do business with them will also be penalized. This is fascism. Don't play their game, don't get their investment. And who is funding the HRC? Surprise, surprise, it's George Soros' Open Society Foundation. Now, this HRC has introduced this arbitrary credit rating to everything. States, municipalities, and even schools. Imagine that. There are people who are deciding what credit score an individual school can get. They threaten them by having these big funds withhold investments into them. Now, that sounds really, really juicy, and I would argue that anybody that's watching this, go do your research and validate or verify what he has said. It could be he could just made all this stuff up. It doesn't seem like it, or it could be 100% true. But you need to verify for yourself. I'm going off of what I've seen. is very compelling, convincing, and it seems as if these are, these are the things that are going on. You can't just make up these screenshots. I mean, some of these things are actual articles that I've seen. So you, you look at it and you say, this is why Chick-fil-A is going woke. This is why Target, this is why Anheuser-Busch is going woke. It's because they have this social credit score that's behind the scenes that's operating in it and pushing them to inclusivity. 
I guarantee you what's going to happen is that eventually one day, if you don't have diversity and inclusion in your bio and in your subset of, 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 of I don't know, um, bylaws, then you can't advertise on certain programs. You can't have your store on Shopify. You can't do X, Y, Z. I'm, I'm telling you, they're going to go down that path. So I see why they're doing it, but we need to fight against it. If we bankrupt every company that follows suit, companies are going to realize that we got leverage on this side versus this side. So we need to back out of this diversity and inclusion stuff and go with what the people are saying and stop pitting people against one another. And that's what I think Chick-fil-A is messing up on, and they're going to be the next falling company. Now, of course, they, they're going to recover. They're just going to take a quarterly hit. And, and we need to set the tempo and say, look, we're not doing this anymore. We're not giving you an inch anymore because you guys take a mile, y'all go off the cliff. But anyway, comment in the comment section. Let me know what you think about this. Support Angel Tree. Link is in the description section. Get you one of these shirts. Link is in the description section. I'm out.